Editing videos is actually not that easy task. It takes time for anyone to master all of those software. What if I told you that you can actually edit full on YouTube, TikTok or Instagram real videos right in your browser? Well, you can do that with Oslo.io and in this video, I'm going to be actually teaching you how to actually do that. Oslo.io is an online video editor made by Streamlabs and it's mainly oriented to gamers and game video content creators like us. But, but in reality, it can be used by anyone. Well, this video is sponsored by Oslo.io and let's not waste your time anymore and let's just go to a computer and start showing what this platform can actually do and, well, how we can actually do that on the example of my own video. So let's just go. Before actually we're gonna jump into the video editing itself, let me show you actually how the Oslo homepage actually looks like. In order for you to be an easily understandable what you need to do and what you need to click before you can actually go uh, directly into video editing. So this is Oslo's homepage. When you go to the Oslo.io, as we're gonna see the Oslo by Streamlabs right here. And all you need to do, you just press login right here or get started for free. And if you are interested in pricing, Again, let me open this one for you. You have two tiers, one for free and one for $10 a month. And yes, with the free tier, you're going to get 15 gigabytes of free storage, which is more than enough for absolute uh, beginners. And for majority of the beginners, you're going to have an export quality of 1080p and you can export length up to 30 minutes. So that means that you can actually export full length YouTube videos and max upload size for five gigs. For majority of you, this will be more than enough. Plus, because we are restricted here with 1080p, we are talking about very long clips if you want more than five gigabytes. So free will be more than enough for you. But if you well, like what you use, you can always go with a paid version. Okay, now let's go to the project itself. So I actually created already project for myself and I dropped a lot of assets already, but I will still show you a lot of things for you to be easily understandable. So this is your main menu. This is your main interface. And if you want to move between different projects all you need to do is just press this right here and when you will register you will actually have this demo project right here you're not gonna have anything like that because I, I messed around with different stuff uh, but yeah you can have it uh, something like this so in my case I have a YouTube short project right here and all you need to do to actually start editing well we can either start by uploading some supporting assets which I actually did and what you should do as well because yeah also we'll need some time to process all of those things or you can just go to the video editing and you can just press create a new video project and it will just create a timeline for you right now because i have already created let's not let's not waste time by talking about all those different things which we're going to touch as we need them and just go immediately to the video editing itself and in this case all i need to do is just go to the project that i need and i'm going to double click this one and as you can see i've actually dropped uh, my video on the timeline I'm actually covering some of the parts right here but don't worry it's nothing important there and in order to well drop it yourself all you need to do is just click on the video that you want and just click plus and it will be edited on the timeline by itself but i'm gonna control z right th this one because i don't need that and yeah in order to make this video vertical all you need to do is go to settings and just make sure that you select the port uh, the portrait one uh landscape one is just for regular youtube and the square for instagram and for facebook right now i have right here and all i need to do right now is just to start cutting this video i will need to cut out all the parts where i'm thinking where i'm reading where i'm looking at different stuff and yeah in order to do that all you need to do is just to use this split key right here or just press an s on the keyboard and all you need to do is just go and press delete and just move on everything to the left all that you need to do so right now to not waste your time and to not make you wait for a really long time I am going to actually cut this clip uh, and cut out all the parts that we don't need and then I'm going to be back to you. Okay, I did cut the footage and the final version actually looks something like this. We have all these separate clips right here. And by the way, if you don't know how to move on the timeline, all you need to do is just press on the top of the timeline like that. And you can actually drag on whichever direction that you want. If you want to move the pinhead, just press the pin pinhead and you can actually move pinhead just like that so our final video was uh, will be around 43 seconds and now our next goal will be to add some music in order to do that we're going to our media folder right here and because i already have my music added i can add it right here and all i need to do in order to add the music i can just select the music and i can just drag and drop it to the beginning of my timeline that's all that i need all alternatively i can just press plus right here and it will add it to a timeline automatically 
it and I want it to be on the bottom right here and just make sure that the length of my video the length of my music will not be way too long let's just zoom in to the end of the timeline uh, my zoom in is actually behind my head and I'm going to make some cuts uh, right here and all I need to do is just delete the audio right here and I will actually uh, level the music right now just to not make it way too loud in order to do that. All you do is just select the music itself and you can actually do with every single one of the clips like that. And when you select the music, you actually have the setting for this separate clip right here. So in my, my case, all I want to do is just decrease the volume to around 30% to see how it sounds. And let me check real quick how it sounds. Okay, it's actually way too loud and I'm gonna actually decrease the volume to around 3% or rather I'm gonna decrease the volume to 1%. Okay, volume, the music volume will sound right. I'm not gonna be just turning on the music right now. Even though this is actually copyright free music, I'm still not gonna turn it on right now. We can actually see the final version on the channel. I can actually set up the track speed for the music as well, but I really don't wanna make music faster. So this will be my music speed right here. Now we need to move on to the next step, which is very important with the shorts and it's actually setting up some b-roll basically some additional footage and don't worry we are not done with an a-roll we're gonna actually be returning to an a-roll really soon so now let's get back to our browser and all we need to do is just go to media again and because i have selected some b-roll already and we haven't done beforehand I highly suggest that you go and do that because it saves you a lot of time afterward than just to go through searching different things. You can just go and add different B-roll right here. And all you need to do is just first find the place where you want to do some B-roll. Let me do that real quick. Okay, uh, I found the one spot where I want one of my B-roll clips and it's all about the money, of course. And I'm going to select this money clip and I'm going to add it somewhere. Uh, well, first right here here and then I'm gonna move it on upwards just above our main clip and because as you can see we have a completely different aspect ratio we are going to actually change it by adjusting the size of the position and you can see it right here but we can just use it manually by resizing the clip just like that and just moving the clip to the center and just pressing play Okay, this is one clip and we can do this with all the clips that we want. And I'm going to actually add these clips real quick. There won't be nothing special. So let's add all the clips right now. Okay, we added some videos right here, but we encountered one very small problem and we need to solve this. Well, one of the clips right here is actually too short. I want this clip to cover this entire part where I talk right here. But as you can see, the clip is too short. So... What we can do, we well, we have a few options. We can actually chop up some parts from here and copy and duplicate and edit right here. Or alternatively, we can actually slow this clip down a little bit to make the clip a bit longer. In order to do that, all you need to do is just have this clip selected, have selected the settings and change the speed of the clip. Now, because we actually only need to add around 20% length, we don't need to slow it down way too much. So all we need to do is slow it down to around like that. Now, as you can see, it's already gotten to way too long and I can actually move it a bit to the side just like that and adjust the second clip like that and this is going to be it now one thing to have in mind is that if you will slow down the clips that have already low frame rates then this will look choppy so i don't suggest you to do this really often because yeah, it will change the pace of your video and it will not look that great so just have this one in mind one more thing that you can actually add is not just add a video b-rolls but actually photo b-rolls as well so in this case i'm going to add some type of logos right here i'm going to open and get the steam logo put it right here just make it a bit shorter make it a bit smaller move it down a bit just like that so it would not cover my face then i'm gonna get another uh logo right here uh, in this case i'm gonna get the gog logo and i'm gonna just put it above steam just somewhere right uh, because gog is not very bright logo I'm, I'm gonna put it somewhere right here and again adjust the length i also need to add a epic games logo as well which is right here and i can just edit and then add it on the top just like that just make sure man making sure that it's not too big i'm gonna add it between 
Steam and GOG. And I'm gonna also add another two logos right here, just because it makes sense in the context of the video itself. First Xbox logo on the top there. And then I'm gonna need another one. Okay, when you play it, it will go something like that. And now what do we need to do with those logos is to actually add some animations. In order to do so, all I need to do is just go and select the, well, actually the asset itself and just adds an animation that's that's all there is there are a few animations that you can actually do that in this case i'm gonna go add fade in for a single second not too long do the same for every single one of them and that's basically it it's gonna press play and see how it will turn out as you can see they are just fading in a bit way too slow for my taste but well you can actually change this one as well select the steam and again and now instead of well one second i'm gonna go and select 0.1 seconds or rather 0.5 seconds now when you press play now we have an animations there as well but now we need one more addition one more very important addition you saw how we can actually move the different clips but there is one more thing that we need actually to do and it is actually affect some of the main a-roll footage and to change some A-roll footage and edit a bit of flair, I guess, those clips, you don't need to do a lot. You actually need to do a very small thing. And in my case, because I have like a longer clip right here where my face is actually visible, all I need to do is select this clip right here and go to adjust. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do add some zoom, just a little bit right here. And as you can see, when you press play right here, I am a little bit zoomed and then it zooms out. It's a bit jaggy because yeah, it's actually, well, still, we're still on a timeline, but on a finished exported clip, it will look much better. We can do the same thing right here near the end. Just go to adjust and go and add a little bit of zoom. You're actually not changing the size of the frame itself. It's different be between size and the zoom because when you change the size, it will change the size of the frame itself. But in the zoom, it will leave the frame at the same size and it will zoom into the image itself. And to be fair, that's basically it. We actually edited full short clip in just a few minutes. Service is still in beta and occasionally you're going to have some hitches and some, some slowdowns and you will need to refresh the page quite a lot of times. But because it works on the browser, you are actually not losing almost anything because yeah, all the work that you do on the internet, it's saved online and you can just move between different devices and it's extremely simple to continue editing from, from whatever place that you want. As for the exporting of the video, all you need to do is just click on export and you can just directly export your video to YouTube without any hassles. And you can even publish it from here as well. And in addition to all that, you can actually collaborate with other creators in order to create the videos together. For example, if you're a team of gamers and you have your own ideas into editing and you all want to implement these ideas into video edit, well, you can actually do that. You can work on the same project. Multiple people can do that. And you can leave different comments and interact with each other, interact with the video itself, all on the same platform, which is insane. And doing this for absolutely free, is pretty cool. So should everyone just go and start using Oslo.io? Well, I'm gonna be honest with you. No, it's not for the people who are very deep into video editing and know how to use the software or are using software like Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve or Final Cut Pro. These software are very advanced and powerful software and Oslo.io is not made to go against them. This service is made for people who just want to get video done as quickly as possible without learning complicated software and to be fair at that, it's doing pretty amazing job. Yes, I would love to see more features and I'm pretty sure it will be added. But even at this stage, this video editing service will be more than enough for absolute majority of the people. And one more thing that you should actually account for. This service is still in beta and it can be unstable sometimes. During working on this and a few other videos, I actually did not lose any type of footage, but sometimes it's getting different hitches and sometimes it's getting stuck. And all you need to do is usually just to refresh the page and it will just continue working. But just know that it's gonna have some hitches because it's still in beta. Overall, it's a pretty good service and will help a lot of gamers to get themselves into the world of YouTube or TikTok or Instagram or any other social media content websites. And if you want to try it out and at the same time help the channel as well, go to oslo.io or you can just go and click the uh, link in the description down below and just try it all by yourself. But for now, this will be it for today. Thank you for being here with me. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe for more videos like this one and I'm going to see you in the next one. See ya.